Hi everybody, so back here with another haul video. This one's an exciting one. Uh, met a guy basically who cleans out houses f for one of his jobs and basically takes the junk and sells it. Uh, and I bought some stuff from him. So, a lot of it was dirty. I'm going to try to edit this video and show you pictures of just how dirty some of this stuff was. But, uh, trust me when I say some of this was very dirty. And, uh, uh, at the end of the video, or towards the end of the video, I'll show you a tip of how I got everything clean. And, yeah. Might be some tips in this video. Who knows? Maybe maybe you'll learn something on this video. Probably not. Um, so, first up, let's go into this here. Um, so, this is a Tamiya, uh, what scale is this? Um, one twelve scale motorcycle. Uh, these are super highly detailed. Uh, I didn't know. I, I've seen these before at like Hobby Lobby. Uh, when I was there, the guy looked it up and um, was like, uh, looks like they're going for about 100 bucks on eBay. And I said, oh, this is completely out of my price range. I do not want it. And then he's like, uh, how about 20 bucks? And yeah, so I bought it for 20 bucks. So uh, this would give me a project to do next winter. Um, I've never built one of these super high detailed ones before. Um, I do know that I'm going to probably build it without the fairings on it and make it kind of like a naked bike looking thing because I don't really want all the fairings on it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to build this one. We'll see. Hopefully it turns out as cool as I think it will. But it's a lot of painting and a lot of parts. Um, I'm not even sure if they say how many parts are in this. No. 2001 and nothing else. All right. And then on the other model front, and it won't spin on this thing, um, I got this Aliens 3 Alien Creature model kit from uh, How, I don't know, HowCon, something like that. Uh, but this is basically how it's supposed to look. Um, so I got that for 10 bucks too. Those, I remember these model kits used to go for so much money because they were so hard to find. Um, most of them I've seen on eBay were going for a hundred bucks, but there are some lucky people that ended up with them for 30. Um, yeah, I didn't, th I thought even though the box is wrecked, all the parts were still in the bags. So, um, and it still had the instructions. So for 10 bucks, why not? All right. So let's jump into my bag of fun here. Um, and I'm just going to reach in and grab it. So some of this, you may end up seeing the best stuff at the beginning. Cause I'm just going to reach in and grab this stuff out of here. Um, so first up, I got a Rancor arm, but I do have the rest of the Rancor. Um, as you can see, he does have the rubber band still holding the other one together. So I'm thinking this will be a relatively easy fix to at least get the arm back on here. Um, yeah. Um, so I got that. And I'm going to try to grab this stuff kind of in the... I don't know, do you guys like to hear prices on stuff? Is that weird? Um, and then, alright, so here's an example of how dirty this stuff was, because I haven't cleaned this one yet. Um, so here's the Astromech droid. Yeah, he still smells, um, so he needs cleaned. Um, I don't know how to get these arms off, if there's a way. Do those just pop off? I'm afraid to do that. Um, but I got that guy because I didn't have one. And it looks like he's going to clean up pretty well. So we'll see. And then I got one of the medical droids. I think that's a medical droid, isn't it? Isn't that what it is? uh, we're going to save that for just a minute. I'm going to locate this other piece. And you know what? I'm going to save that. And we're going to come back to Star Wars here in a minute. So, we'll save that. Um, I did get some parts. So, like, I got these Dino Rider weapons trees. And now we're just going to reach in here and grab stuff. So, I got Stripe. A Stripe. Oops. Dead Stripe now. 
Um, this is that's one of the older stripes, and then I also got a gizmo, and you can kind of see how dirty he is. And I've tried everything to clean these off: goo gone, goof off, alcohol, peroxide, uh, toothpaste. Um, I don't know what all else I tried. I tried everything, trying to clean like the hands to see how dirty the hands are. Uh, luckily, I already have one of these in a little bit better shape. So, yeah, happy to have those guys. I'm gonna zoom this down because we're gonna run out of room here. But I'm happy to find Stripe. He was a good deal. Um, I don't know what this is so if anyone knows what this is let me know I thought it was a Ghostbuster ghost but it's not so if anyone has any idea what that goes to let me know uh, I have no idea and this guy was probably the worst one of the worst Hold on one sec. Well, I can't get him back his tail back on right now, but this is a uh, Slimer, and I even tried goof off trying to get all this black off of him. And you can see from the inside, uh, he's still actually a little wet, but you can see how just dirty this thing was. I cleaned it up as much as I could. Uh, the goof off started taking off the eyes, so I lost both of my eyes. I'll have to paint those back on. Um, but this guy just will not clean up any better. Come on. Well, I may have screwed up taking the Slimer apart because he does not want to go back on. Finally got Slimer back on. All right. But yeah, um, he's pretty well garbage now. I already had one, so he was just going to be an extra anyway. Um, this is a Ghostbuster part. I thought it went to the Banshee, um, but it actually goes to one of the Gooper Ghosts, and I already have this one. So if anyone needs a lower mouth to the orange Gooper Ghost, let me know. I got one. And then, let's see. Um, so I got some random Ghostbuster parts, so uh, this goes to one of the Screaming Ghostbusters. I'm not sure which one. I don't think I had that one. Uh, this is a ghost for the Ecto-1, and this goes to Winston. I think I've already got this one, actually. So uh, Then I got this little uh, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Pencil Sharpener. Um, it's amazing that how bright his blue is on this little uh, handkerchief neck thing. Uh, the rest of them is completely gone. Um, I got a whole crap ton of proton packs. We're going to go through that here in a minute. Um, man, this box still smells like mildew and old toys. And it's not bad. But man, I soaked and washed the crap out of these things. I figured they'd be better by now, but... Maybe not. Alright. So this one was 
I mean, just really just gone. This is the uh, Beetlejuice motorcycle. Um, and I'm missing the front wheel for it. Um, there's a green wheel that's supposed to go up in the front here. Let me zoom out now. Um, there's a green wheel that's supposed to go up in the front, and then you got wings that come down. Uh, but I'm missing the uh, wheel, so eventually maybe I'll find it. Um, I think that's the last thing I needed from Ghost, but or from Beetlejuice was that, and maybe the car. I don't have the car, and then a couple of the figures, and then I got a full set. But <sighs> to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to keep that set of Kenner Beetlejuice figures. I may end up selling them or getting rid of them. I don't know. Um, another. Well, like I said, we're going to come back and I'll go over those all the weapons and stuff here in a minute. Um, next up is a TIE Fighter. But I've already disassembled the clean for the most part to get at least a good start on the cleaning of it. Um... So there's that part. And then the wings. I've already started, like I said, I've already started cleaning them. This thing was almost black. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to insert some pictures here. Uh, but this thing was almost completely black whenever I got it. Um, and it looked really, really bad. So um, now I've got to take the whole thing apart. Do a better cleaning on it. i got to find a battery compartment down here. I go through all the connections and clean them and then make sure everything works and then pull out all the screws obviously and pull this whole thing apart and see if I can get it to work again. Uh, this button over here I think still works but this one doesn't so I'm going to have to fix this one over here. So Luckily I think this one separates pretty easy so it should be a relatively easy fix. Finding this battery cover is going to be a tough one. Most of the time there. And here are the other two parts that went with it. Then I got Egon. I think he was the only actual figure I got of Ghostbusters from Ghostbusters. Um And then, I'm just going to run through these Ninja Turtles. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. Uh, Firefighter Don. Casey Jones. Uh, a lot of these are going to be customs. I got another Ecto-1 Ghost. And Raphael, Donatello. Basketball and baseball. Um, another Ghostbuster Ghost. Most of these are going to be customs. These turtles. Um, Donatello. Um, Samurai Leo. A soft head Raphael. You can tell because there's no seam that runs down the middle of it like the hard head. And then hard head Leo. See the seam? Hard head. Um... Someone already custom painted this. Casey Jones to look like a drag queen or something. I don't know. And we got Cowboy Don. I think that'll make a fun custom. Most of these, when I say custom, I mean our custom paint jobs. There are a few that may get, end up getting a little bit in, more in-depth. I'm done with this thing. All right. This one is kind of a rarity. Um, this is not rare, but a variant. This is the hard, or the, um, hats off Ace Duck. So most of the Ace Ducks had a hole in the head with a peg on the hat. So that, uh, hat could, uh, fit on Ace. Uh, that hat needs cleaned. Um, yeah, the hat would actually stay on the head that way. This one, you basically gotta push down on it to get it to stay. Um, so I didn't have that one, and now I don't have the hat. 
and uh, I never can remember these two. Napoleon Bonafrog or Genghis Frog. Whatever. Um, Military Leo. Storage Shell Leo. These are some of the best looking turtles we got at the time. Those storage shell ones. Um, and uh, Raphael. Uh, gun for... Oh, I can't even remember. One of the guys. Um, this one's kind of a rarity. Uh, this is the Leonardo that comes with the chopper. Um, or motorcycle. So, this is the same as the Rock and Roll Leo. Except for he doesn't have the uh, logo on his chest. And the uh, bandana's painted a different color. Um, I actually just bought this one with the motorcycle. So, you'll see that in a video coming up soon. So, if anyone needs this guy, let me know. We'll work out something. Because he is kind of a hard to find rare figure. Not expensive rare. Just hard to find rare. And then. Another hard head Donatello. Storage shell Donatello with no backpack. Um, a really jacked up Usagi. Which is more or less parts. And then. Uh, Leonardo. Hockey. And. I just got some random parts in the bag, which you guys don't care about, so I'm not going to show you, probably. Uh, then I got these three Defenders of Earth. I got Don't Know You, Don't Know You, The Phantom. If you guys could smell these through the screen, wow. These things took, like, the longest bath. And they feel so much better, and you don't know how dirty these things were, but like I said, I'm going to try to sh insert... You can just picture this whole thing being, basically, all these figures were black. Like, just covered in, like, they, they'd been in a basement, and, yeah, um, why are you not focusing, there you go, so I'm surprised these guys cleaned up as good as they did, this one, god, he's missing a lot of paint on that arm, isn't he, um, so, I got some really, really good stuff, um, Let's actually, before I mention that, let's look at this here. So, I got all of these extra proton packs. Um, some of them are in good shape. Actually, none of them are in great shapes, but some of them are at least kind of complete-ish. Um, this one's actually in the best shape out of all of them, and it's completely white. As far as the stream and the backpack's in okay shape. Um... You can still see the dirt in there after I scrub these things. Um, but I got several of them. I don't know how, how many I end up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven proton packs. So seven vintage proton packs. Um, like I said, some of them have streams, some of them don't. None of them are in 100% great condition, but um, between that and a couple of the extra ghosts that I got, that'll make a good lot on eBay to maybe recoup some of my money from this stuff. I don't know. Um, some of the turtles that I'm not going to customize may end up... Yeah, probably not, actually. Most of those are just garbage figures if I'm not going to customize them. Um... Well, what really made this interesting was is I just kind of grabbed this out of the side of my head just thinking, like, I don't think my Slave 1 has a, a Han and Carbonite, but it did. And I was like, oh, I'll just grab it. I didn't really look. What had happened was the guy had this stuff in some boxes, and I had to sort through it quickly. Um, unfortunately, he had already made a deal with a comic shop, and they took the really good stuff. Um, but apparently they didn't see this. And I didn't realize what it was. I just grabbed it and threw it into the box. And this is the Han Solo and Carbonite um, from the last 17. Um, I was actually going to look at something. Do, 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 do. Hold on, guys. Let's look this up. Let's look at this. Let's 
Yeah. So, I thought it was the same Han. Um, meant on card, meant loose. Uh, says that the figure and the carbonite are supposed to be 70 to 75. Um, this book must be older because on eBay, I've seen this thing going for easily over 100 bucks. Um, so that one part kind of made up for everything that I had bought. Um, if if you kind of break everything down, I mean the Rancor probably thirty bucks. Uh, I think a hundred bucks. Uh, there's, I think that figure there's fifteen Ninja Turtles here, so you know three bucks a piece. On average, even though there's a couple of oddities, you know, the... Anyway. Um, a TIE Fighter, I don't even know. Um, the models should be 100 bucks together, roughly. Um, heck, there's probably 40 bucks worth of Ecto backpacks, even in the condition those things are in. Um, but I, I got a pretty good deal, I think, on all this stuff. Um, I feel like there was something else. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, Mr. Greco, I see, I see your, uh, six inch card Wolverine and raise you this giant bastard. Sorry, I can't, I can't believe I forgot this guy was in there. Um, so we got Wolverine with his mask. Didn't have, couldn't find a sword. Uh, like I said, this guy was filthy. I'm gonna try to show some pictures, of, you know, right here to kind of compare. Uh, this guy was beyond filthy. Um, I don't know. Maybe I got hosed on this deal, but I feel like just that one part was kind of worth it. Um, this Wolverine, I don't know. I really wanted that as soon as I seen it, even though it was covered in dirt. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just really wanted it. Um, and I got it for a pretty cheap price. So, um, yeah, uh, I think I, what I give for this Wolverine? 10 bucks, I think. I think the cheapest I seen one on eBay was like 38 and they're not very common. Like I, I think I seen one on eBay. Um, so I, I was really happy to find that guy. Um, I think that was all the stuff I picked up from this place. Um, unfortunately I was ran out of money cause I didn't know how much money to take to this place and just kind of ran out when I got to this point. And there was a couple other things that he had that I wanted. And unfortunately the next, by the next day when I had a chance to go get some money, um, I could, he had already told me that he had sold the other Star Wars, vintage Star Wars vehicles that I wanted. Uh, he had a troop transport, the big white, uh, cloud shape thing, you know, whatever that one is, the troop transport. Um, I really, really want that. It's one of my few last vehicles that I really want. And a vintage um, snow speeder. I was going to buy both of those two things, and he ended up selling them. So, uh, Well, that is the end of the video. Uh, I'm at 5% now on my phone, so um, I'm going to have to end it there. And uh, we will uh, see you on the next one. Bye.